The music stopped playing in 2016 for Michael Hargraves. It's me. The damage is enormous. During a lengthy operation, Homeland Security investigations uncovered a counterfeit scheme mastermind by Hargraves that spanned the globe. From all outward appearances, it was completely legitimate. The, part, the problem was is they were all counterfeit and the money was not being uh, filtered back into a, a legitimate business. Brian Widener is the assistant special agent in charge of Homeland Security investigations in Oregon. For us, this is a, uh, a priority area. As federal agents dug deeper, they uncovered one of the most sophisticated counterfeit operations they've come across. They found out that Hargraves was in the UK using an alias Martin Donald to run an online storefront called Media Mind US. He put his music store online using Amazon.com. Customers in Canada, Germany, France, and the U.S. all unknowingly bought counterfeit CDs from top 40 artists like Taylor Swift, 21 Pilot, and Sam Hunt. Is it too late now to say sorry? One of the misnomers is that, that physical product, whether it be vinyl or CDs, are, are disappearing. In 2016, uh, physical product, meaning CDs or uh, music DVD or uh, vinyl, represented 22% um, of the music industry. Once customers clicked purchase, the orders would be fulfilled and shipped by Amazon. What you have to keep in mind is that every purchase that's made of, from this particular defendant is an act of consumer fraud. Hargrave's counterfeit business was lucrative, pulling in more than $2 million in a single year. For us, that's a substantial amount of money that is lost revenue to businesses in the U.S. Every dime from the sale of this defendant's uh, product would go to the defendant. Nothing went back into the industry. Marcus Cohen, the vice president of anti-piracy field investigations for the Recording Industry Association of America, says that the music industry saw piracy take off around the time when Napster was introduced in 1999. After U.S. music sales nearly topped $15 billion that year, Sales last year in 2016 struggled to reach $8 billion. So when we look at piracy on the whole, as a whole, uh, the impact has basically been to cut the music industry in half. I got this feeling. Technology is making it easier for counterfeiters. Printers in China now have the ability to pump out nearly identical CDs, and the internet has allowed counterfeiters to transfer files faster with more anonymity. In Hargraves' case, investigators discovered the CDs he was selling were incredibly well made. We could tell that they were using um, very high quality printers. Um, there was an attempt to copy all aspects of the legitimate content, including the insert booklet, um, as well as the, um, you know, the, the printing on the disc. They went to a lot of effort to make sure that it was designed to confuse a consumer into believing they were purchasing a legitimate item. The proceeds of those illegitimate CD sales came under review by the feds. Following the money is, is one of the reasons why we got involved. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Investigators found out that Hargraves systematically engaged in international money laundering to hide at least $1.4 million from Uncle Sam. DHS agents wouldn't talk much about that aspect of the case because parts of it are still under investigation. Now with Hargraves finishing out his federal sentence and with his online business shut down, authorities are making sure the music you hear is crystal clear and the message to counterfeiters is even louder. Our anti-piracy program goes out uh, throughout the United States and internationally. Yeah. The